<clears throat> brass instrument. Anyone play a brass instrument? Okay. So the brass instruments are the next part of the orchestra. I consider them as air instruments. They include a brass body, so their sounds are going to be different. Uh, the factors that affect the pitch, one is by pressing the valves to change the length of the tubing. So instead of holding your hand on the hole when you're playing the flute, you're actually pressing down the valve. And the other one is the changing, the change in the brass player's um, mouth, the way it's placed. The other way that we change it is this way. I wish this animation was struck. So what happens when you press down the valve? So the valve gets pressed. There is stoppage here, and then it allows for the air to open, go this way, and then come back down. So you can physically change the length of your brass instrument when you're playing it. The other kind is called a slide brass instrument. And what happens when you have a slide brass instrument? They use the same phenomenon, but instead of holding the, the, the actual physical length of it, you just move the slide back, back and forth. But you're physically changing the length of your instrument by the amount of space it, it puts into the instrument itself, okay? Different kinds of brass instruments include like a trumpet, a tuba, a fugal horn, a trombone, or a French. Anybody play the French horn? Is it tiny or big? Yeah? It's medium? But you have to hold it like this, right? It's, it, it, you can put it on your lap? Okay. And do you see the amount of tubing? So even though it might appear like there's only three, like the valves, but what the valves are doing is this. Each time you hold one down, it changes the tubing from this to this, to this, or to that by this phenomenon right here. Can you imagine how difficult it is to make one? It's insane. The skill of the people who make these things. So fascinating. appreciating how, how musicians do their work. It's so fascinating. 